Yeah. I gotta find this again. Hey. Can you focus on me? Hey guys and dolls, it's Tashira, and today is an empties video. So I got lots of skincare, some body care, and some home scents. I'm gonna start off with my skincare. So I finished up this fresh soy facial cleanser. Y'all, this is my favorite, favorite facial cleanser of like all time. Anytime I get through with it, like right now, I'm done with it, but I haven't bought any more. And I'm just like, why? I'm trying to try something else, but I'm just like, nah, nah. This is it. So this is very gentle. This is a gel cleanser. Really, really gentle, but it gets the dirt off of your skin. It's not harsh. It's not gonna be the best for if you're just cleansing once, if your skin is like really, really dirty, or if you have like a lot of product on your face, you're gonna have to go in with an oil or a balm first and then go in with this. But I absolutely love it. Next, I finished up another gel cleanser. This is a little bit heavier. This is the Urban Skin RX Even Tone Gentle Gel Cleanser. This one is a liquid foaming cleanser. It's like a little thicker. It foams up like a little bit more. I think I actually might get this again. It took me a minute to finish it, but I do like that it's a little bit heavier, that it will get off a lot more, um, I would say build up. If I just wanna wash my face once, I don't wanna use a balm or something like that. I can just use this and I'm good. But it doesn't have as a luxurious feel. It's not as light as the Fresh Soy Facial Cleanser. But I do think I might get this one again. I think I might. Next, I finished up my Bioderma H2O Sensibio Micellar Cleansing Water. This gets off any dirt, any impurities, any makeup that's left over on your skin. If you don't feel like using a makeup wipe at night or if you don't feel like just actually cleansing your skin, this is going to be what you need. Also, if you wanna make sure your cleanser is working, use this. You're gonna be able to tell if it's working or if it's not working. I really love using this in the morning time just to kind of just wake up the skin and kind of get off anything from the night before if I haven't used something like an acid or like some sort of treatment. But if I just kind of went to sleep, moisturized, I'm gonna use this in the morning just to like gently cleanse my skin instead of washing. I already got another bottle of this. I absolutely love it. Next is a staple. This is another staple. This is the Heritage Store Rose Water Toner. So this is a moisturizing essence toner. It's kind of like just liquid, but it's so, so moisturizing. This adds additional hydration in the skin. It's just perfect. I use it every single day, every day, morning and night. And I honestly think this is just always gonna be in my skincare routine unless I find something that's, you know, along the same price point and just, you know, very moisturizing. Now, this, I had to get it again. This is a staple. Staple, staple. This is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen with SPF 40. This is the smaller version. This is the one fluid ounce bottle, but I have a bigger one now. I'm almost like halfway through that. Definitely gonna be using this throughout the summertime. This is bomb because literally it looks like nothing on your skin. It looks like nothing. You can put it on under makeup. It's not gonna mess with your makeup or anything like that. You can just put it on on a regular day. It's not oily. Like none of that, it's just, it's perfect. It's literally unseen. I also finished up this Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This, this was bomb. I don't know why I'm opening it, it's completely empty. But this is the actual cream. There is a gel version, I just got the gel version for the summertime, but I love the cream for when it's like cooler weather or it's not extremely hot. This one is not, it's not a thick cream, but I find it to be just a little bit too heavy for the summer months when it's just like extremely hot. So I prefer the gel version, but both are bomb. Like I absolutely love both of these. And then my night cream. I need to go ahead and get another one. This is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This is a lovely, lovely night cream. Not too heavy. It's just like, it's like a whip consistency. I mean, it's gone now, <laughs> but it's a whip consistency. It's just, I don't know, it's just like right in the middle, not too heavy, not too light. It's very moisturizing, doesn't leave the skin, you know, oily or anything weird like that. It works, it's what I've been using. Let me know if you guys have a favorite night cream. This is mine for the moment, but let me know. I might, you know, I might be willing to delve in and try something new. Cause you know, gotta continue to try new things, new products. Now this, y'all, I always say, oh, I'm not gonna get it again, but I think, I think I might because I suffer from keratosis pilaris or chicken skin on my legs like very badly, especially on my lower legs. So this is the Urban Skin RX Pure Strength Even Tone Smoothing Body Treatment. This has kojic acid, glycolic acid, and retinol. It's a 12% glycolic acid formula, 
but I think this does really well I don't use it like I should well I haven't used it like I should and pardon the brownness on here over time it does turn brown oh is that a little bit of product oh yeah I can get that off of there but <laughs> it's pretty much empty I could not really get anything else out but I'm like okay a little bit is out on there but yeah this works well for keeping keratosis pilaris at bay I feel like it is used daily or once every other day sometimes I just I don't use it as much that's why I said I think I'm gonna get it again because I'm using the naturium glycolic acid body wash and I was using this too and I noticed a huge difference like the body wash plus this I was like oh we are this is doing something not to say this was not doing anything because it was definitely helping when I ran out of this before I did notice a difference a change I've run out again and I was trying to figure out if I wanted to purchase the Naturium lotion or this one because this one is a little bit more expensive. It's like $68, I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe $58. But I think I'm going to go ahead and invest in this one again. It definitely helps. It definitely, you know, improves the skin's texture if you're suffering from keratosis pilaris. I also have my favorite body wash, staple staple. This is the Olay Moisture Ribbons Plus with Manuka Honey. Y'all, this is just, it leaves my skin so soft, so smooth. I use this thing up. This is like in the top for body washes for me. Absolute top. It has like these swirls of like this honey mixture in it. It's just, yes, my skin just absolutely loves it. I would recommend this if you have dry skin. If you need some fragrance free body wash, I would not recommend this though because it does have like a honey scent to it. I'm going to see actually if they have non scented body washes from Olay because I'm kind of trying to transition over to non scented body care as far as my body washes and things like that when I can. It's not going to be every single night, but I'm going to do, you know, more fragrance free things because while my skin does look smooth up here, my legs, my legs just cannot take, I don't think. The fragrances and everything like that now this took me a long time to finish not because i didn't like it i loved it this is the cocoa butter exfoliating salt scrub from the somerset toiletry company i found this at tj maxx or marshall's oh i don't have the thing on there anymore it was either tj maxx or marshall's i loved it it's a salt scrub it just left the body so soft and smooth it smells like like uh just cocoa butter just goodness but it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. But y'all, I did not find this again. But I was just like, I gotta start using up my scrubs because I just, I can't just have stuff sitting forever. You gotta use it up if you open it. So yes, absolutely love this. I will grab a couple of these if I see these again. Also something I've been absolutely loving. This is the Tree Hut Shave Oil. This is the Tropic Glow Scent. But y'all, when I say these Tree Hut Shave Oils leave your skin so soft and smooth, it gets like the closest shave ever because it's like an oil so that razor can get like super close to the skin without nicking or cutting or anything but it's it's bomb it's bomb i already have another scent i don't remember which one i have now i think it's coco coco colada but yes got another one started using it yes get you some if you have not tried it get yourself some now i did finish up some perfumes this is some travel size perfumes just two so this is the commodity gold expressive y'all this is beautiful i do want the larger size in this one i can't really even describe the smell it's kind of like cookie like um just warm it's like a really really pretty warm scent so i wouldn't get this again until the probably towards the fall time winter time but i would get the larger bottle in this for sure absolutely loved it next i finished up this bath and body works summer melody this y'all i love the scent of this but i actually wouldn't get it again just because the scent does not last it's a beautiful fruity scent it's honeydew and vanilla so it's like a fruity vanilla type scent but it's so good but yeah, I'll just stick to the body mist for now. I finished up two hand soaps. Y'all, these are both like fall scents, but I don't know, I like cookie scents. I like gourmand scents. This is autumn s'mores, which literally smells like s'mores to me. Other people might not think so. It has like, I don't know, it's got an interesting smell, but I don't know, it smells like s'mores enough to me. I'm trying to think how to describe it, like what's mostly the scent. I feel like it's more so like graham cracker and maybe the marshmallow than chocolate if i'm not mistaken but this is good i have another one i'm probably going to use it in the summertime 
So this will be in another empties. It'll be another packaging though. And then cookie butter. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is a cookie truffle butter, sorry, from Bath and Body Works. Well, okay, take that back. This is Bath and Body Works. This is White Barn, the cookie butter truffle. But yes, absolutely bomb. I would get this again for sure. Winter time, when it rolls around, holidays, I'm getting it. I'm getting like two. For my home sense, we have this Tiki Beach Candle from White Barn. Actually, I kind of got this like randomly before and then it just like became a favorite. So this is like a vanilla beachy scent. So imagine you're walking on the beach and then there's also a blast of vanilla in there. So it's like beachy and vanilla. It's very, it's very nice. I also, I smelled this one and I had to pick it up. This is Sea Salt and Palms from Bath and Body Works. <sighs> I just had to smell it one more time. I had to smell it one more time. <laughs> But yes, this is like a, I feel like it's more so like a masculine like beach scent. I know that probably sounds weird, but just imagine like palm trees, sea salt, like a man's like cologne. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's really, really nice. Now that I'm sniffing it, I'm just like, yeah, I gotta find this again. Hopefully they have it again. I don't know if they do. I feel like it was like a limited release or something, but maybe they'll have it this year maybe i can get it soon and then of course you know i finished off some wallflowers this is strawberry pound cake bomb bomb we're always gonna get this again i have rose water and ivy this is really pretty if you like rose scents so it's not as just like rosy and floral it has spring musk in there and the rain kissed ivy as well as of course the soft rose petals so it's like a mixture it's really really pretty i prefer this over just like the straight rose scent that Bath and Body Works used to have. This one, what is this? Oh, Peach Bellini. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful. Peach Bellini, gotta get it again. And this one, what is this? I can't tell, oh, strawberry. I think this is another strawberry pound cake. They have like, if you lose your little tags like this, it has the name printed like on there so you can kind of see it. I see it says strawberry, Puh. So I'm like, that probably says pound cake. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and be sure to like the video if you wanna see more like this. I love you guys so much and I thank you for watching. Bye.